Joe Serpy Tube, welcome to the Coffee Pot. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Sierra was basically naked at the Vanity Fair Oscar Party 2023 red carpet. <laughs> this is it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it right here. This is exactly why men in particular do not respect this relationship and marriage. It's about time we have one of these comfortable, uncomfortable conversations. Men are very, very, very right when it comes to their overall overwhelming opinion of this relationship. Not only are they right, but a lot of women are starting to realize that, hey, this woman who we just recently saw encouraging women to be single and independent, and they don't need any man while she's living in a million dollar house. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Real quick, rest in power to Kevin Samuels. Happy birthday, um, in case you guys didn't know. But these women who sit here and they say things like, well, you know, I don't get why men just don't like Russell Wilson. It's not that men don't like Russell Wilson. They just don't respect the guy. The biggest problem, and this is like the worst thing of all when it comes to Russell, is he doesn't drink coffee. I hate coffee. It's so strong. I mean, what's up with that, right? You need to man up and, and, and drink the coffee. It doesn't matter how bitter it tastes. But any man, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at these photos of Sierra barely dressed. I can't even show these photos. Like, I can't show her as she is in the actual photo on YouTube because the advertisers on YouTube would deem this as inappropriate for my subscribers and then I'm jeopardizing my, my channel. How crazy is that? This woman who I think recently I saw a video of her like praise and worship. She, listen, I am not a Bible thumper, but I do believe in God. God does exist in my world in, in in how i choose to live my life i believe god exists yes but you want to hear me over here trying to force people to buy into my beliefs at all but again i don't attend church regularly i don't go to a physical church regularly and part of the reason i don't is because if i go to a church i'll see people like this i'll see couples like this the church has been feminized you have men in, in, in church, these spiritual men like Russell Wilson, who be with these wives who are dressed. <laughs> Guys, I am not saying women today need to wear long dresses and um, practically look like nuns. That's not what I'm saying. But can we all agree that when we see publications producing headlines like Sierra is basically naked and everybody's kind of shocked, but this is also a woman who's like... Um, uh, 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 mascotting uh, a Sierra's prayer and you must pray for the right man, but this is actually a problem. I mean, you can at least just show some legs or a little bit of cleavage. This is where we're at now, right? And what really surprised me about this particular situation wasn't just the article, but it was the comments from everybody who was reacting to this. First, I'm going to read a little bit of this article and then we're going to check out a few of these comments. The article reads, the best dress is no dress with a question mark. <laughs> goes on to say Sierra left nothing to the imagination at the Vanity Fair Oscar party 2023 red carpet Sunday night showing up in a totally sheer dundas I, I don't know this shit so I'm going to pronounce it wrong chick chick wear chick dress I don't know dundas halter dress with nothing underneath but a matching g-string that's all she was wearing I can't you probably can't see the g-string but that's all she was wearing the singer 37 years old she's almost 40 years old showed off all her goodies and the sparkling look which featured cross-hatched crystals a plunging cowl neckline and a low back that showed off the top of her thong these women these married women who women modern women today look up to i don't know the difference between this and only fans content right why am i talking about this why well because 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 the question right now is why do you care well it's not that i care it's that i look crazy and so do other men when they go out into this world and they date and they see women dressing way too revealing and those same women think that there's a man out there who's gonna look at that and say oh yeah right there that's wife and material Right? Like, I want to take you seriously. If not a marriage, I want to take you seriously for a long-term relationship. Like, is that the message do you really think you're putting across to these men? But no, I'm going to find a guy who doesn't care how I dress. Like, 
Russell. Russell isn't the average guy. Most guys would not be okay with their chick going out dressed like this. And somebody may counter and say, well, these are celebrities. Nah, man. These women follow these celebrities. They follow these celebrities. They mimic these celebrities. They want to be them. And so my point is, if you think that you're going to adopt the same mentality that Sierra has, of, I can dress and wear what I want and I will find a man who's going to treat me well, a man I respect. Most guys aren't cool with this. This is another reason why most men with any type of self-respect don't respect the way Russell Wilson conducts himself, his relationship, because they wouldn't be okay with this. And that's just one aspect, right? We're not getting into everything else that's involved in this. And listen, the thing is this time, I wasn't the only one who spoke out. A lot of women are finally starting to catch on and they're just like, no, nah, what is this? Check out some of these comments. The majority of these are women. The first comment here says, respectfully, no. That there is 2000 plus likes. Next comment here says, um, Sierra wore nothing to the 2023 Vanity Fair Oscar party is what it is. With a shoulder shrug. Next comment here from another person says, wasn't you just leading praise and worship with the prison ministry? There we go. I know you can do both, but why? Now those same men you minister to are thinking of you differently. <laughs> oh man. And so this chick's like, weren't you up there praising God, singing and trying to lead men to Christ, whatever. But those men now are looking at you and you know, they're, they're looking at you like eh, you might be a three or four. But again, who, who thinks in our society today that men shouldn't have those inclinations like towards a woman who dresses provocatively? Women do. Any man who understands uh, intersexual dynamics knows that you're not gonna let your woman go out dressed like this because men are going to look at her in a particular light, right? You look like a three or four. Next comment here says, I'm just glad we respectfully agree that this isn't it. Another chick here is agreeing. Another comment here from another woman says, even her facial expression is unsure about this look. It's a no, respectfully. They're having a hard time even calling her out. Next comment here says, this is reminding me of the time she dated future. <laughs> And her wardrobe was a reflection of that. Another commenter chimed in and says, Sierra has been silently begging to go back to the streets recently. Can someone inform her that the streets aren't nice and to keep her behind quiet with her man? This look is not it. So a lot of these women agree. They're like, yo, there's no reason you should be dressing like this if you have a man. It doesn't make sense unless if you're looking and trying to attract attention from other men. And before you say, Hey, what about all the other people? Why are we always picking on Sierra? I don't get it. Doesn't Beyonce do the same thing? Listen, Beyonce too. She goes overboard with this. I remember I posted a photo of her in some like cowboy uniform. Here's the picture. I'll share it right here. Um, and, and this was on the coffee pot official. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. But people responded back to that too. And they looked at this and they're like, this is too much, right? It, it was giving only fans. Here are a few of the comments that people left in response to the Beyonce photo. This commenter says, time for some more 304s to be created. Awesome that a celebrity who is married encourages the younger generation by this junk. Another person says, thigh slash barring cap. Why don't they say what it really is? That tells you all you need to know. Next comment says, rather see this than Lizzo. Hilarious. <laughs> Another person who says, as Chris Rock said, that's the way to get attention. And someone else says, I hope to God Beyonce gets shamed for this. I hope she and Jay sees it. Now, a few more comments here before we end the video. This is back to on um, the topic of Sierra and her showing up to the red carpet, barely dressed. What this chick had to say about that was stunning body, big, yes, but the dress is trashy. There is plenty covered up dresses that can show off that body. This one is a no, no. Next comment here says, as a married woman and mother of three children, why? Another person says, if this is what being sexy and confident is, then we have a lot to learn as a society. We all was happy when she left future for us, right? No more comments. Another woman here says the influence she has on another woman will make them think it's okay to wear something like this. Yes, yes. Out to the parties and out to events is not good. So you have women today who go out to parties looking for husbands <laughs> dressed like this. And their um, kind of validation that is to, to validate their beliefs that this isn't hindering them from finding a man who's going to take them seriously. Because uh, he, men will bust those cheeks. Right? 
men will smash don't forget it they won't pass you up no 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 but will they take you seriously if you don't reform and understand that you're absolutely out of your mind if you walk around half naked and think that a man's gonna take you seriously it's, it's nothing to do with religion it's nothing to do with morality this just comes down to why would you want your woman out here barely dressed for other men to see what's what's that man getting that another man isn't it goes on to say we have problems now with women thinking it's okay to wear very revealing clothes out and now this this is nice but only privately in your home now the commenter here says it's giving we are going through something in our marriage mm, could that be i told you guys man i'll say it again here the moment this marriage will fail listen the date is march 13 23 and i'm not i'm not saying this to wish um anything on this marriage but i promise you the day this marriage will fail russell wilson sierra is when russell wilson cheats because unlike the other celebrities right if you look at cardi b if you look at beyonce he won't get forgiven why because i always get crucified for saying men will cheat on you you need to leave that possibility open as a woman especially if that man is high status and as a man i say you need to find a woman who's willing to forgive cheating not that, <laughs> that shit. Not that you should cheat, but you need to find a woman who's willing to work that out. And this is not me saying men and women should cheat, but I'm telling you right now, a man who's forgiven his woman for cheating, that's going to be, she's going to pay for that. He's going to put her through hell. I just did a video about that. The guy put her through so much hell that he didn't care what was going on in her personal life. After that, the trust was not there. A man forgiving a woman for infidelity is a lot different from women. It's a lot easier for women. To forgive, not to go through the pain, but forgiveness. And I know I just pissed it off, but mark my words, this relationship will end when the perfect man who these women are looking for is proven to just be a regular man, right? To, with Who has regular temptations. You're better off, gentlemen, keeping things real with the woman who you're with and say, hey, I want a woman who's willing to work with me, who values the unity of the family more than anything else. You don't know the future, bro. A lot of you guys out here who say, I'll never do this. I'll never, you be the first ones. The first ones. Go to church. All these pastors talking about things you should be doing. They're smashing all the women in the congregation. This comment says she should have saved that for Russell. She's basically naked. And guys, that's her final comment. Listen, as always, I'm curious what you think. Leave your comments down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.